Hey guys, so today is a different kind of video. I don't usually create um, how-to videos for, you know, like blogging stuff. But a fellow blogger of mine reached out, asked what my rate was to help her set up a shop page on her blog um, using reward style. And I'm like, girl, it's easy. I'm just going to help you out. And I thought, you know, I was going to do a video to send to her. And I said, why not share it with... Um, other bloggers. If you already have reward style, you've been using it for a while now, you already have your shop page, this video is not for you, it's fine. You can just skip this post or um, close this video, it's fine. But you know, if I can help one person who's new to reward style um, create or set up her own shop page in her website, and then, you know, I I'm, I'd be happy to help other people. So, Let's start. So first thing you do, go to rewardstyle.com and then log in. So here in the products, you can, you know, search for an item. You can also see the recently sold items in here. So if there is something that you think you want to share, because these are the more popular, I like that they share this because then you know that, oh, people are buying this or buying this, getting ready for you know, spring or summer, so you can definitely add that to your favorites. Let's just say, okay, I'm adding that pair of shoes. And I already have here like um, folders of my favorites. You can just create one. Let's just say shop page, okay? And then you can add that and then click on that box to add that pair of shoes to your shop page favorites so this is just um categorizing your favorites and let's say i'm going to use the shop page later for my blog post so let's just say let's add another one i'll add this to my favorites i'm just gonna instead of you can scroll down to where um the default that would be checked is a currently obsessed but let's say i want to look for the shop page that i just created so it's there so click on that and say, I want to add this bag. Okay, I clicked it, but you, you don't have to click it. You can also just, you know, um, click the heart, the heart next to it, and it will show up. So let's just, uh, oh, oh, there you go. Shop page, okay. So I click that on that. So this is one way to do it, or you can just search. You can click on search. Say, um, I want, I got a Target maxi dress that I want to include in my shop page that I recently bought. Um, and there you go. Remember this dress, this famous dress that's all over my feed? So I can add that to my favorites. Clicking the heart. It's taking forever. There you go. And then I'll put it in my shop page so that I created earlier. So there. So wait until that loading um, icon ends and shows a heart, see? So that was added. Now, okay, so now that you've added a couple, another thing that I wanna show you, because we were just using the product search um, feature here on reward style, but I wanna do the um, link ninja, which is important because that link ninja, wherever, you know, whatever website that uses also obviously uses link ninja so all of their partner websites you can use that favorite it's a bookmarking button so for example you're at target you want to add that you know whatever item that you saw you want to add that to your favorites you can just click on this link ninja button and on your toolbar so what you need to do see this so i'm on the apps now click and drag that button to your favorites bar. So it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac or you're using a Windows um, laptop or PC, just drag that um, button to your favorites toolbar. So you have to have that toolbar on your browser so you can drag that. I'm not gonna drop it because you can see that. Can you see that link ninja there? I already have it here in my toolbar. So what I'm gonna do right now is let's say, let's just open a new tab and I'm gonna go to, let's go to Nordstrom. And if you wanna see like the advertisers, 
you can go to advertisers here on reward style click on that and then you'll see the list of websites not all are compatible with link ninja but you will you know check out the websites to shop often and try the link ninja button and then uh, see if they have it so let's just say I'm just gonna you know do whatever just gonna click on an item whatever item is here okay so I'm gonna go to the specific one oh I love that dress that dress oh wait not that <laughs> I'm just going to show you an example but I'm getting picky okay I'm gonna go click on that dress I want to add to my shop page okay so what you do while you're in the product page you click on the link ninja button that you just drag to your toolbar and that stays forever there I mean, at least you, I mean unless you delete it so when I clicked on the link ninja it showed me this pop-up reward style I mean so it shows add to favorite so you can click on that I'm gonna search oops shop I'm gonna search for my shop page oops there so click on that wait for it to stop loading show a heart there you go so now I'm gonna go back to the reward style website I mean and then you're gonna go to the apps okay and then there is a shop the post you can also do a boutique and you can also do a lookbook money spot is like if you have an image where you want um, a clickable image where it would lead to the products but we're not going to discuss that right now we're just going to discuss the shop page um, you can do the shop the post which is usually what I put in my blog posts individual blog posts but for a shop page um, go with the boutique so here when you click on the boutique this page is going to show up and you can select a folder here, your favorites folder. So we're gonna go to the shop page that I created a while ago. Click on that and see, it has created like a widget for me to add to my, oh see, I doubled the, the dress. You can opt to over here, if you wanna click on show the brand, it's gonna show up the brand there. You can also opt to show the price, see? It's all up to you what you want. If you want to put the brand, if you want to put the price, show the caption. I don't have a caption yet, but I can put here like, say, fave travel oops, dress. See? And then here, um, cute. So I apologize. I should have used my camera with a tripod. So that's my hand shaking while I'm typing. I apologize. But I was gonna just make a quick video turns out not so quick but anyway and then you can also show the social icons I mean and what we'll do see so they can share it on Twitter Facebook was just loading up see they can share it on Twitter on Facebook when they share it it's gonna have your link you can still earn a commission out of that one so anyway so here is a widget with so you can do a custom size they have like small medium large or let's say your blog width is 800 so you can do 800 you can do um your columns maybe um you want just two columns so you can have you know bigger sized um product photos but i like to go with three or four let's try four see that but we only have a, a few so you can add some more so you can even out the widget maybe you want 12 you can add a few more products in there and also set the maximum products that this widget shows because when you add more um, products to your shop page, it will show up the latest. Let's say if you set this to maximum, to show maximum 25 products, or let's just say I want only want to show four. So you see, only the latest four that you put in your shop page is gonna show up in here. Um, let's just say 12, okay? Now, you can um, choose Blogger, Squarespace, iPad, Tumblr, WordPress, whatever um, your platform is, and then copy code. There you go. So I just copied it for you so you can paste that to your shop page, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. Okay, 
so now we're going to install our widget our shop page into our blog post our blog shop page so what you want to do here is click on the WordPress here select your platform you're gonna do this just once if you're in WordPress you're gonna need the plugin so get the plugin before using your widget on WordPress you'll need to install our plugin you can use this plugin if you have if you can install um, plugins to your website to your blog site then you can use this shop widget so get the plugin it's going to download it for you okay so it already downloaded so we're already here in my blog um, dashboard on WordPress so I went to plugins and then click add new so you can upload your plugin here so it has to be in a zip format so go to where you um, installed it here right so i'm just gonna go right click on that and then compress reward style widgets so that it would be in a zip format see that now i have that um zip format right here and i can just upload that to my wordpress in here so i can choose the file i'm gonna go to my downloads reward style widgets dot zip see and then you can just go choose but i'm not going to do that because i already have my plugins let me show you my installed plugins in here so that's my reward style widget in here see so now that you have that you can now use the widgets in your page but before we do that there's one more thing i want you to go to go to your my account and click analytics script and it will take you to this page so this is the required script manager all of the reward style influencers is required to do this so that you can use all of the widgets from reward style there's a how to in here but you know just in case you just copy that code and then you go to your editor in your web uh, wordpress blog go to your headers page and basically insert it anywhere above this tag the head tag okay so let's go to my wordpress or in my dashboard blog wordpress dashboard blog go to appearance editor and then but you have to be careful with whatever theme you're using you have to be careful that you don't mess it up so i'm going to my this is not this is not um what do you call this good practice okay but because it's just me doing it i mean i know where i put it just make sure to take notes or you know so you remember where you installed it uh, but you know just for um to make it simple for you guys just just look for your header just look for your header on the PHP and then see that before the head tag so paste it right there and this is where I pasted it here see so I pasted the whole code when we go back here you can again you can access this page in your in your main reward style account my account analytics script and then you get here you copy that code and you paste it into your headers.php in your wordpress so you go there to appearances um appearance and then editor okay and then look for this slash head tag paste it before that head tag now verify that you've installed it correctly successfully installed okay so now we can use a widget and you're gonna do this just once um and you can start using all of the widgets from a reward style okay so now we're gonna go ahead and copy the code of this you know shop widget that we created earlier so just um you can just do that or just click on the copy code button here 
Now we're going to go ahead and create a page, add new page to your website, to your blog. I mean, create a page. Let's say shop my faves for the title. And then you're going to go to the HTML, the text, the text tab. Okay. And you're going to paste it here. You can insert uh, an image first and then write a little something um, because it's always important to put some text, add some text for SEO and make sure to use the word shop in your text for a good SEO score for Google's sake. Let's just say shop, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. And then we're just, I'm just going to save this as a draft because I already have my shop page. And then you can see the preview page here. You can click on preview page so you see how it looks. It has loaded. So you can see Stylanthropy. This is my blog. This is the page shop my faves shop. You just put dot 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 there. And then you can see here the ones that I added to my shop page. Now how to put this um, in the menu bar. See, my shop page is where and what I'm shopping. That's what I called it. I added like a paragraph here, what I'm shopping, style obsession, and then beauty stuff for the home. So all of these, how to put this in here. Well, if you've been blogging for a while, you probably know that already, but we're, we'll just dive into that. So I'm, I'm going to the appearance. And then menus see the latest oh, here's the page where and what i'm shopping so i'm just going to click that and then add to the menu and it's already here actually obviously because you can see that where and what i'm shopping so this is the page see and you can even change the title here if you don't want the title of your you know exact title of your page of, or how you titled your page um you can put just shop if you like if it's too long in the menu bar and then you can save your menu and that's that's where we're at where and what i'm shopping i guess that's it and i hope um this helps you out if uh you have any questions i know it's been a long video i thought it would be short but let me know if you have any questions and i'll make sure to answer them thanks for watching bye